Well, I'm Artifacts of Mars. And the scientists have gone off the deep end again. Um, there's nothing new, but this one's gonna be fun. So go ahead, go grab a cup of coffee, sit back, and relax. Because we're gonna laugh all the way through this one. What well, if your d pet dog or cat can talk instead of barking or meowing? You'd know just how much Rover loves you, and maybe how sorry Fluffy is about that mess on the carpet. <laughs> so not sorry. Well, anyway, they're sorry if, if you rub their nose in it. We all know that's not about to happen, but recent advances in AI and machine learning suggest a long standing dream of being able to converse with animals in limited fashion could become a reality. With the help of AI, scientists are learning how to translate animals' vocalizations and facial expressions into something we can understand. Unbelievable. Recent advances include an AI system that listens in on marmoset monkeys to parse a dozen calls they use to communicate with each other and one that Read sheep's faces to determine whether an animal's in pain. Now, I think if the <laughs> sheep is going, bam, 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 I think that's one uh, indication. Taking no research, an Amazon sponsored report on future trends released last summer predicted that in 10 years we'd have a translator for pets. Dr. Khan. Not gonna happen. Uh, prof Professor Emeritus of Biology at Northern Arizona University and author of Chasing Dogs, Dr. Doodle Learning the Language of Animals. <laughs> oh my god, Chasing Dr. Doodle is in, uh, on the vanguard of animal communication. If you don't know how, who Dr. Doodle was, uh, it's a, a fantasy. Some kind of fantasy land that all <laughs> communicates with all the animals and he writes snails and unbelievable. More than 30 years studying prairie dogs have convinced him that these North American rodents have a sophisticated form of uh, com vocal communications that is nothing less than language. Uh, <laughs> ah, yeah! Actually, they're called whistle pigs by the locals. But don't let that confuse you. Uh, this idiot thinks that these are <laughs> geniuses. Prairie dogs make high-pitched calls to alert the group the presence of a predator. S discovered that those calls vary according to the type of predator as well as its size. Animals can combine these calls in various ways and can even use them to <laughs> indicate the color of a nearby human's clothing. Oh boy, animals are supposed to be colorblind, actually. S <laughs> wasn't content just to understand the prairie dogs with the help of computer scientist colleague. He developed an algorithm that turns vocalizations into English. And last year, he found a company called Zulinga. <laughs> Right. Oh my. With the goal of developing a similar tool that translates pet sounds, facial expressions, and body movements. I thought we could not do this with whistle pigs. He says prairie dogs. I say whistle pigs. We can certainly do it with dogs and cats. That's sad. The work is in an early stage. S is amassing thousands of videos of dogs showing various barks and body movements. He'll use the videos to teach an AI algorithm about these communication signals. The algorithm still needs to be told what each bark or tail wag means. And at this point, that means humans must offer their own interpretations. No point. 
doc comes up up to you and nuzzles you, it likes it. Doc comes up to you and bites you, it don't like it. Da. But S aims to incorporate growing scientific research that uses careful experiments rather than guesswork to decipher the true meanings of dog's behavior. S's ultimate goal is to create a device that can be pointed at a dog translation. <laughs> it's wolves. Wolves. <laughs> ah, yeah! English words, for example. S said, I want to eat now or I want to go for a walk. Unbelievable. Uh, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this video. Because, as far as I'm concerned, this is kook stuff. You'd be better off getting a book on um, animal behavior and there's such a thing as animal behavior and yes I can can learn well, to an extent what they're uh, why they're doing what they're doing. Like when the dog uh, drags his butt on the floor, scratching his butt because it itches and it might have worms. Uh, we can't translate this into human language. This is absurd. But this is why it's called a mad science update. Some artifacts some ours. Woof woof! Thanks for watching.